So it's the Toy Fair 2020 and once again I'm with Bruce Hay, my friend from Australia, who's here on behalf of um, Drake. How are you, uh, Bruce? Yeah, really good, Ian. Thanks Great. very much. It's a highlight coming over here just to meet up with you each year. So. That's what I thought you'd say. Um, interesting, I uh, wasn't sure I was going to come this year, but I uh, saw you on Facebook yesterday and I thought, well, we must come over and see you because I wanted to thank you personally on behalf of England for sending over the Australia cricket team to take part in the World Cup. It's obviously a pity you couldn't be there for the whole competition, but good to see you at least play a small part. Well, look, that's, that's not a problem at all. Um, you know, I'd, I'd like to... Uh, to thank you for your participation in the Rugby World Cup and how the Australian coach got you to the final, but unfortunately you weren't good enough against those South Africans. Yeah, but we did get to the final, didn't we? That's right. Yeah. OK, Bruce, let's get on to the real business. So what have you got for us this year? OK, Ian. Well, 2020 will be a really exciting year for Drake Collectibles. We have a lot of new projects in development, and one of them is right here. Now this is the box loader. It's built by Ophi and box loader. Now Drake trailers are the uh, manufacturers of these in Australia. The cranes are made by box loader in France. So this is a fully functional box loader. This is the, the hand sample, the resin prototype. So it will slide up and down so you can put on a 20 foot box or a 40 foot box. The stabiliser legs actually function and work and also the cranes will actually lift up and down and open and close to load the container on so a lot of good detail on this they will be sold with a container because it takes a special container to okay. hook into the pins All right, so okay. this is really exciting in tooling at the moment and uh, I'm sure it's going to rate very highly on the cranes, etc. Well, we mustn't take Review anything. List. For, we mustn't take anything for granted on on that. Um, when do you think it will hit the market? When will collectors see it? Look, probably uh, fourth quarter this year. Okay. So, tooling tooling's underway. There's a few tragic things happening in China at the moment, and uh, a lot of delays will probably come from that. But, um, I'm super excited about this one. It'll come in a range of colours and some company liveries, and we'll have matching trucks to go with it. Okay, so that's uh, certainly something to look forward to. Have you got? Uh, are you doing your own containers with these? Or? We are doing our own containers. Uh, it needs a certain container to fit with the pins. So the model will come with a standard Drake container, but then there'll be a lot of branded containers in Drake customers, in Drake company suppliers, and a few other uh, leading transit shipping lines from around the world. Okay, all right, so that's interesting because that's really something uh, a little bit different from many of the trucks and trailers we've seen in the past. Yeah, it is. Like, uh, we, we had a review of what we had to produce moving forward. We had a, an opening for a new trailer. We'd made a lot of Drake product. We'd be making the, the Maxi Trans product with the, with the freighters and the Maxi Cube. So it was time to come back home and into our own Ophi range. So. That's good, so we can all look forward to that one. So what's the next Bruce? What's this? Okay Ian, well this is the Kenworth Legend T900. Now this was a tooling model and a sample last year, so these are now some of the production models. This one here is a very striking truck in its red, silver and licorice coloured stripes. This is uh, musket haulage, loaded bases. So the, the Musket Brothers have two trucks. This is the first one. So this is out of the first release of these four models. And uh, we have quite a, quite a lineup of these coming through the system this year. So what made the uh, 900 so unique in Australia is it was released two years ago or three years ago now at the Bruceman Truck Show. So it's new technology, but it's got that old school 900 look. Yeah, that big flat bonnet, that toughness. So, very, very nice model, very nice replica. So, the first one we made was a replica of the truck, which is in the Kenworth Hall of Fame in Alice Springs. And number one, we auctioned off with the proceeds of four thousand dollars going to the Cancer Council because it was named after 
an employee from Packard. Right. So, there'll be quite a few of these come out this year. We'll be releasing them in, in groups of four. So, so well, looking at this one, I, what strikes you immediately is the quality of the graphics and the decoration is certainly um, very intricate, yeah. very sharp, and of course all that overlaid on the uh, on the quality of the truck as well. It all looks great, actually. Yeah, we've got a few different options for toolings, with different bumper bars, bull bars, mud guards, um, exhaust, air cleaners. So we try to get them as as economically possible to the real truck so it does lift up it's a nice detail open doors sprung seats all the normal drape functions and features so this one's obviously looking finished when, when are these uh, available very shortly yeah this one's at the end of its production run and uh it'll ship oh look end of february early march with the white ones that we released a few days ago okay right so that's again something else to look forward to Okay, Bruce, so here's something I think we've seen before in prototype form, but these now look finished. Yes, yeah, Ian, this is the uh, Freighter Easy Liner. Uh, these were prototypes last year. The first runs of these have come through and gone through production. We just did some standard colours to start with, some white with a red chassis, white with a blue chassis, and white with a white chassis. So they've all been very well accepted, they've gone very well, and we have quite a few new ones in production at the moment. Some company livery times, some popular companies, and a lot of new companies that Drake haven't produced before, now that we've got something in their, their product line. So this is what they call the Easy Liner. It's got the working suspension, the airlines, the turntable, wind down legs, back doors open for complete detailed interior with the rib floor, so it's, they're, they're a really nice model and they've been well accepted in Australia and throughout the world. Okay, and I can see that there's some detail inside there, so it might be difficult to see on the, on the screen, but maybe get some impression of the fact that there's detailing inside also. If a, if a haulage company in Australia wanted to have some of these made in their colours, well, what would they need to do to, to get that done? Oh, well, basically, if there's anybody out there interested, contact us and uh, we're more than happy to work with, with companies to produce. We're doing a bit of that this year, uh, private liveries, so it's something to, to really look forward to. And if, yeah. a, if a company wanted to do that, what sort of time scale should they have in their mind as being a reasonable time to expect look, it's, it? It's normally uh, anywhere from three to six months after yeah. the artwork's developed, uh, pending to, uh, slots, production slots at the factory. So we've got quite a lot of models on order at the factory and that ties in the slot so we can we can mess with that okay. put a few bits and pieces in but this year this is part of the maxi trans range this is the what they call the freighter easy liner there's also the freighter torque liner which is a little bit different on the sides and we also later this year we'll bring out the wet and the dry vans in both the, the road train and the b-double configuration all the tooling's all finished for all those so we we'll start to, to roll them out. So it sounds like it's a busy year for you, and uh, I think you've also got one or two other projects which you haven't announced yet also coming down the track. Yeah, look, we've got one or two really exciting projects that I've been working on for, for quite a while, so uh, stay tuned for that. There will be a, a collector's day early around the end of the first quarter, probably at Drake HQ, so if you come into Brucement, that's one you need to be at. Okay, and I can uh, certainly say from what I've seen uh, privately that that is going to be something to look forward to. Thank you very much, Bruce. Thank you. Thank you. Always a pleasure.